Welcome back, everybody. It's Michael Oliveres with Alpha Insider, where we bring you different experts in different fields. As you know, we work with a lot of uh, real estate brokers in different areas. Elliot Bogart is here with us today. He is a broker, a uh, founder of Broadway Realty, and his specialty, his expertise, he lives and breathes sales and rentals in Manhattan, New York. Elliot, welcome back. Hi, Michael. Hi, dear listeners and viewers. Happy to be with you. Thank you. Uh, Elliot, not only uh, do I really admire you and value you as our guru for Manhattan real estate because of your experience, you've been, been doing real estate in Manhattan for years, over 20 years. Sorry for giving away your age. Uh, <laughs> but you're also a bestseller author, an author of a book on real estate called appropriately get rich get rich in real estate and you know i always saw that when people write books that means that they have something to say that uh they were chosen and approved by the stores that sell you like uh, barnes and nobles amazon you can even find you on itunes that means you are somebody you could actually have the right you have earned the right to educate people on real estate, okay? And today we're gonna to educate people on buying new condos in Manhattan as opposed to resales, right? It's a big decision. There are various uh, price points, pros and cons, buying new versus pre-existing, okay? So let's talk about that. Uh, Elliot, what are the advantages of buying new developments New common developments in Manhattan. Thank you, Michael. Great introduction for the uh, for myself and for the book. Uh, here it is. It's made uh, international bestseller on Amazon, mm -hmm. and uh, it's available on Barnes and Noble, as you said, as well as uh, you can hear it in iTunes. Apple iTunes has it, and uh, uh, if people like okay. to recording, uh, it's also there. Mm -hmm. So. Feel free to grab it, and it talks about uh, Manhattan. And, and I have a copy that was gifted to me personally by you, so I appreciate it. Sure. I'm glad you have it, and mm -hmm. hopefully uh, I'll put it with you. We'll, we'll look at it as well. Yeah. So, um, what, and a great question, by the way, about uh, Manhattan condos, uh, and why is it uh, a brand new condos? Um, uh, worth uh, looking at and buying as an alternative to uh, pre-war, post-war condominiums and co-ops as well. Right. So now, as you know, uh, developers are building brand new condos. There is some, about two, three developments that offer 10, um, the 421A tax abatement, which is a significant savings sure. for the taxpayers and so real estate taxes is a part of uh, owning a condo you're paying uh, as expense you're paying common charges and you're paying your real estate taxes and there is uh, it's only those two expenses and maybe a mortgage so right uh, those three just expenses. explain to our viewers tax abatement is where the city has a special program where the first 15 years sometimes it's less uh you have uh, much lower taxes uh, because you are getting new construction, then gradually they go up, right, Elliot? That's correct. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's up to 20 years oh, of wow. uh, uh, abatement, and mm -hmm. you enjoy that 20 years of uh, savings. That's so big. it's significant uh, savings. Mm -hmm. uh, so those couple of projects are there in Manhattan, and we specialize in them, and you can still get a great uh, deal, and you enjoy those savings in Manhattan. And to start to buy in a condo, all you need is a small deposit, sometimes a 10, 15 percent of the mm -hmm. uh, deposits to start uh, a new a new development. And then you have to qualify for a mortgage or you can if you can do without mortgage, God bless, so you can buy it uh, all cash. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, what Manhattan offers and new buildings are being built and announced uh, all the time and new areas, new blocks. Uh, so 
we always help our clients, we consult and we help them to choose the right uh, purchase and uh, what's right for them. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, special. In, in your opinion, what you see though, uh, new developments are a bit more, bit pricier than uh, pre-existing or resales. Uh, why should one consider paying more when you're buying brand new construction? So uh, it's a great question, Michael. So, for example, uh, many people like uh, uh, new developments because of the amenities they have to offer. They have a new windows, mm -hmm. floors, doors, right. and appliances. So and they their said, windows uh, are usually a lot of times they are floor to ceiling, which makes uh, a great view of uh, Manhattan uh, skyline. Correct. So they they tend to be uh, bigger windows, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the view is a big part of the Manhattan living, as you know. And, of course, uh, people are looking for views, so mm -hmm. the views are important. And uh, the other thing is, you save uh, a certain amount of money during that twenty years uh, right. period of, of time on real estate taxes on one bedrooms. It can be as high as three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, dollars uh, worth of uh, real estate taxes you're saving on a two bedroom it can be as high as six hundred thousand and on a three bedroom it's up to a million dollars wow. uh, worth of real estate taxes sure. sa saved mm -hmm. so they tend to be priced higher but people mm -hmm. look at it as a they buying in a new building new neighborhood they like the uh, yeah, you need to save, and nothing uh, compares that smell of uh, walking into a brand new building, a new apartment. There's something to it. It's like a new car smell, right? Correct. Yes, people love to have a brand new apartment, never lived in, mm -hmm. and uh, I have some clients who just buy only new buildings and they move from one building to another. Oh, okay. And uh, they keep it fresh mm -hmm. exactly and uh, they like this kind of living for 20 30 years i have clients who sold two three four times uh, mm -hmm. and they're always in a new building so right. that, yeah that's that's the trend. something to be said for that uh Elliot, but what do you say to people who say um look i want to find an old apartment that's maybe 30 40 uh, years old or older I want to got renovated and then I'm going to have a brand new apartment according to my specifications and possibly save money uh, what do you think are the opportunities and what are the cons of that that's another great strategy and another great uh, question about uh, adding value to something that is beautiful Right. Not brand new, but mm -hmm. you can see something that is worth your time, money. Uh, and some people are creative. Uh, we have a lot of people in New York who like to add value to sure. properties and yeah. to do constructions. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is a great uh, subject by itself. Uh, so you can take a pre-war apartment, which is has high ceilings, large windows, and then a beautiful building that's offering a lot of services, and you can renovate, definitely. And we have uh, clients who are always searching for such a great investment in one of those buildings. Yeah, Yeah, Eli, thank you for your answer, uh, because it's very important to know both sides of the coin and to see, uh, give you opportunity to know what's out there. And... Um, We'll definitely come back to this question because I want to have a session on what are some of the new developments that you represent, that you recommend for clients. And we can go through them one by one and talk about where they are and what are the price points. And same for gut renovation. We can come up with some buildings where we think it's worthwhile to buy in, um, in what neighborhoods and just give people an idea of what's out there, right? Because we're here to educate. 
and educate is what we do. Elliot, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge, not only in the book, but here on this podcast. And please follow us for more sessions, more Q&As with Elliot Bogart from Broadway Realty. And you will be also an expert on buying, selling, or renting apartments in Manhattan. Thank you. Until next time. Elliot, take care. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, viewers and listeners. Have a great day. Thanks. I appreciate it.